Like he might save himself a car here. He's in a good position to get his four, all right. It's a pleasure to have uh, our referee for today, the resident professional here at the Congressional Golf Club at the nation's capital, uh, Whiffy Cox. Uh, Whiffy is a very old friend of both Gene and myself. Whiffy, uh, who was the, f uh, wasn't Herbert Hoover the uh, founder, president of this club? Uh, Herbert Hoover was the first honorary president. Mr. Joe Himes at that particular time was the resident uh, president. It's about the first time a golf club had a president and went on to be the president of the United States. Isn't that true? That's correct, Gene. And it's awfully nice to have you with us. Sam Sneed away, putting for a birdie from about 30 feet. Jim, be prepared for a new style of putting today. Like a land crab. That was a good putt, old Sam. He laid it up there just about uh, 18 inches away, and he's in Roberto's line of putt, and so he's going to mark it. Nowadays, you have to see any type of style of putting. That's for sure. Things have really changed, haven't they, Jane? Yeah. Here's Roberto Di Vicenzo putting for par four. Oh, what a beautiful recovery for that. Oh, wonderful. That was quite a full four from down there, wasn't it? Say it was. You can hear the helicopters overhead here. We're near the Bethesda, Maryland uh, Naval Hospital, of where the helicopters uh, land quite frequently. This Walter is, Reed also. Walter Reed is near. Sam Sneed got his par, and uh, through the first hole, both players get their pars, and the match is all even on Shell's wonderful world of golf. At the 195-yard par-3 second hole, with the $10,000 hole-in-one prize money on the line, Di Vicenzo was short of the green with his tee shot, and Sam Sneed bunkered his. Roberto, about 80 feet from the cup, is ready to play his second shot, pitching with a wedge. Pitches it up well. Will it hold? No. Oh! Boy, it took a lot of spin there, Gene, and he almost hit that flag. Roberto's about five feet from the cup, and Sam about 70 feet away in a kind of a shallow bunker. We'll play a wedge out of this soft sand. Ooh, Sam didn't hit that the way he wanted to. He's going to be short and right of the pin. Sam Sneed out of the trap, just about uh, 10 feet away. Let's take another look at this uh, putting stroke here. It's... In. Oh! oh! Gene, good putters can putt anyway, can't they? It goes to show you. Sam's been a great putter all of his life, and he can stand on his head and putt. He could bump. He could putt with a broom. That's the truth. Here's Roberto putting for his par. like it should have broke off to the right, but it didn't, and he got his bogey, and, and Sam, would you come in and uh, tell us about that putting stroke, please? Sam, uh, how long has this been going on? Oh, Gene, that <laughs> started last, uh, uh, last year at the PGA. What's you the mean, secret? What do you mean the secret? Get the ball in the hole. <laughs> You've yeah, been doing that all of your <laughs> life. Are you kidding? Oh, uh, well, Jim, uh, the old one hasn't been working too well the other way, so I thought I'd try something else. You know, you look like you're based in the turkey. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> A turkey? <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a nice three, and through the second hole, Sneed takes a one-stroke lead on Shell's wonderful world of golf. Sam Sneed and Roberto Di Vicenzo have had very long, successful careers because they built golf swings that were, and still are, the epitome of simplicity and good form. We'll see them in slow motion as they drive on the 459-yard par-4 third hole. Both have excellent posture at address. Their backs are straight, and in reaching out to the ball, they bend comfortably at the waist. Sam makes a forward press with his right knee to help begin his fluid action. The club is drawn back on the inside, the hips turn like a swivel, and now, on top, the left arm is firm, the left knee is bent, and the right leg is braced to hold his balance. Roberto also presses his right knee forward to begin. He, too, maintains a firm left arm, and if there's any difference, it's only that Roberto doesn't raise his left heel as much, so his pivot is not quite as pronounced. The move down is a smoothly timed motion, everything working together. 